God's throne is in the human heart. There we become one. One in purpose. One in achievement. If the Methodist brother wins a hundred souls to God, amen and amen. If the Presbyterian, whatever he might be, wins a soul to Christ, amen and amen. If Tommy Osborne wins a million souls this year, and Oral Roberts a million souls, and Billy Graham a million souls, and every other denomination a million souls, I can stand and praise the living God. Because that's what we're achieving. The kingdom of God, that's what our, our objective is to do, to send souls to Him. They're born again Christians. That's when we're one. We're united together. We're brethren. Not as long as you say, well, they're not Methodists. They're not Baptists. They're not this, that, or the other. Then your, uh, your whole motive is wrong. And your objective. And all you achieve is wrong. When you're trying to do something within yourself to make it look big. When you're little. Remember, did you ever notice wheat growing? If you see wheat stand up and shaking itself like that, remember there's no head in it. It's empty. A full head always bounds. And a man is full and filled with God's goodness and his mercy. He bows his head in humility. He that will humble himself, God will exalt. He that exalts himself shall be made a base. Friends, it's time that men and women woke up to the fact that we want to be one. Jesus prayed that we might be one just as God and him were one and God was in him. And we are one with Christ if we let Christ come in. But the only way we can do is to let him take the control room in our heart. Then we become one. 